Hello and welcome to Hip and Creative. My name is Awilda and I'm so happy to have you here. In today's video, I'm going to share with you guys some super simple meals that I hope you enjoy. So on this first recipe share I have for you is going to be a chicken and tortellini dinner. As you can see here, I just put some of the stuffing in a bowl and I took about a quarter cup of water or about a cup of water and I'm just gradually adding it into the mixture until it is softened and then I'm going to take this mixture once it is nice and soft and I am going to put it in a baking sheet. The baking sheet I already have it set to the side and uh, has a little bit of cooking spray already on it. And now I'm just taking the stuffing and spreading it as evenly as possible onto my baking sheet. And then I'm going to take my chicken and wash it and layer them on top of the stuffing. I do add a little bit of seasoning to it. I just gradually added some onion and garlic powder onto it, but you can definitely use any seasoning you prefer to have your chicken seasoned with. This is just my personal preference. Next, I'm gonna be taking some shredded mozzarella cheese and just sprinkling it on there. This is a two cup bag, and I think I use about a cup's worth. Um, I like it super cheesy, but because my husband and my oldest daughter uh, are lactose intolerant. I try to be a little conscientious and not put too too much cheese but they do enjoy having cheese on their chicken as well. They just take pills for it. Next I'm just adding some ranch dressing that Alyssa shared with you on the video. Now I'm just covering the chicken with some tin foil and putting it in the oven at 350 for about 45 minutes. While the chicken's cooking, I did buy some of this tortellini, which is our favorite brand to use, and I just followed the package directions. And here is the chicken nice and cooked. Now the cheese doesn't fully look melted because of the uh, ranch dressing, but it is cooked all the way. If you don't like the way the cheese looks, you can always put it back in the oven for another five minutes just until the cheese kind of melts a little more and uh, you don't have to cover it at this point. Afterwards, you can definitely serve it to your family and this tastes absolutely amazing. Now on this day, I had a absolutely horrible migraine headache. So my husband made beef empanadas for us. I do have another video that I'll link out below with how to make this, but this is what we had on Tuesday. On this day, it was Alyssa's birthday. So we took her out to dinner at Longhorns and we each just picked something from there. Uh, the girls and my husband did happen to have dessert, but I was too full from the food that I did not have dessert but the food was amazing. On Friday, we actually had some fried chicken and mashed potatoes. This was something my husband made for dinner and he showed me how to make this chicken and this is how I cook my chicken all the time. Unfortunately, I did not record myself in the process of making it, but I am gonna be sharing a future video on how I make this chicken. It is absolutely delicious. Okay guys, that's everything for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, please make sure to leave me a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so yet, I would truly appreciate if you would subscribe to my channel and make sure to click the notification bell so you'll be notified of when I post future videos. Until next time guys, I hope you all have a great day. God bless and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.